Hello, welcome to my diary. So I was with a mama this week in labor and one of the things that I found is that she just wanted to be seated, not moving, she just wanted to curl up on her chair, on, her, on, on the bed and sleep. And I remember walking in, I'm like, why are you asleep? Let's get up. And she was like, I don't wanna, I'm in pain. But guess what? One of the things that really, really helps your labor progress and move is movement. And why move? So this is our pelvis. And this pelvis, you know, around the hips, around your waist, that's where your pelvis is. And this pelvis does an amazing thing. It tends to shape and move to allow your baby to descend down your birth canal. So what does that mean? At the beginning of labor, the baby is entering the pelvis. So we, we say the baby is entering the inlet of the pelvis. So that means we need to get to positions that help us open our pelvis on top, right? So that, can you see how much makes a difference? So if I'm lying down, my pelvis is actually closed because we tend to close our legs. But if I am upright and I'm even with my legs apart and I open, I give more space for the baby because that's what the baby is trying to do they're trying just trying to make their way into the pelvis so if i am moving and rotating and helping the baby and playing a bit of chakacha then i'm helping my baby descend so do lots of movement dance walk chakacha put that music on and shake those hips uh -huh. all the things that you need to move get down anguka nayo all those things will help your baby count down the bath canal. And guess what? It also makes it fun. It doesn't have to be a punishment. It is not really a punishment to be in labor. Labor is powerful. Labor empowers you. Labor is able to get you to where you are. It's the labor that brings your baby. So embrace it, engage it, and roll with it. And you'll be amazed at how quickly your baby will come and how empowered you feel at the end of your labor.